I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, third hour of class, classes. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's pray. Father, we we just pray and ask for a uh, Lord uh, freshness, Lord, in our spirit, in our body, in our minds, Lord, uh, which Lord, which you can bring about by our Holy Spirit. So, Lord, we we yield ourselves to that, Father God. We thank you for all that you're doing in us and through us, Jesus. Master, we, we commit ourselves into your mighty hands, Father God. We pray that uh, you'll continue to lead us into all that you have for us, Father God. We pray that you will lead us, Lord, as your word says, by the Lord, green pastures, where there's still waters, Lord, where there's refreshing, Lord, where there is, um, Lord, uh, nutrition, where, Lord, where they, we are fed spiritually, O oh God. And uh, yes, Lord, we ask, oh, Father God, that you, there will be edification in the inner man, Lord, even as you feed us, Lord, with your word, and with your spirit of Father God, we thank you. We come at this time into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, good to see you again. And uh, I think this, um, I hope your um, project is uh, nicely, you know, taking shape. And we're almost at the end of it. Right. So, um, so if there are anything, uh, there's anything that you want to ask at this stage, we can again, you know, util utilize this time to do that. Um, if there's, if you feel that you got stuck somewhere um, regarding the work, your project report, or uh, you know, any other um, aspect of the project, you know, we can we can talk about that as well. Uh, I know that uh, some of you have been, you know, writing and. Uh, um, there's been, uh, I hope there's been clarity in whatever I've responded to. Uh, you've been writing about um, your questionnaires, you've been writing about, um, um, I think the last two um, were mainly about questionnaires, and then there were some about um, the, the overall uh, direction of the project itself. So um, I hope uh, whatever I've responded uh, helped. And so, um, yeah. Um, so let's, uh, yeah. If there are any, if there's any anything, any other questions, uh, any doubt, any clarifications, we can talk about it today. Um, so, Asha, how's your uh, project coming about? I know you guys were in Mangalore, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so what is the status of work? Um, were you able to, you know, your questionnaire, um, get it out, get people to respond? How are things? That's it. It's in the process. Mm. Um, once I finish making the question, I need to check up with you. So yeah, mm. that's it. Okay, just wanted to remind us about the timeline, right? Um, uh, our report, if you, if you look at, uh, you know, what is there in the classwork section, the guidelines uh, for the IRP, the report is to be finished by the 10th of April, right? Finished and sub uh, actually uh, submitted by the 10th of April. So just want to remind us about that, the final draft of the research paper to be submitted on or before 9 a.m. 10th of April. So, you know, whatever, like this, sending out the questionnaire, getting responses, tabulating the responses is going to take time. So, just want you to be mindful of this, right? Um, we just want us to remind. Um, so, yeah, okay, Asha. So, please speed up the work. Um, Chris, uh, how did your questionnaire go? Were there responses? I think I know you posted it on the stream. Um, are you getting enough responses? Uh, yes, I, I posted it on the stream, but I also realized that uh, uh, it doesn't actually go to, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the people, I mean, the, the, the participants in, in the stream. Uh, like, you know, like uh -huh. the way, you know, when you do a post, um, uh, you know, as the... Uh, Oh, it goes to all the individuals. Okay, I see. No, it it, it actually remains static as a post. It doesn't uh, go into the email, you know. So actually, I tried contacting you, but uh, I think uh, you were traveling and um, not sure if you got a message for me. 
Uh, but I got actually got um, uh, someone was talking to me about this, and then he said, you know, why don't you just, you know, speak to people personally, and you know, give them a call and just tell them that you sent it. So mm -hmm. I did speak to a couple of people, okay. and um, I mean, the uh, people who I uh, you know contacted and um, who had sent um, emails, mm -hmm. and some in some cases I actually sent uh, sent personal um, personal WhatsApp messages. And uh -huh. um, I'm finally I have got 45 responses. Oh wow, that's good. Uh, mm. Yeah, which I think is quite uh, which is quite good. So uh, yeah. it's kind of quite quite a quite a you know sort of cuts across uh, different um, you know um, mm. different uh, areas in the in the in the questionnaire. I think yeah. you had a questionnaire also. Yes, yeah, uh, I did. So you know it it sort of uh, focuses on the three categories of of uh, of uh, individuals basically the ones who haven't drunk alcohol at all. Mm. And the, the second category, which is the people who have um, drunk but uh, you know given it up, and then the third who are who are, who are uh, actually when I say people, I mean believers. Yeah. And then the third category are the believers who are uh, continue to, to, to still drink alcohol mm. in some form or the other. Mm. And um, yeah, so I have got responses to all three. Okay. Um, and um, and I have also got some interesting uh, responses. So it's it's mm. uh, I think the question name probably will be kind of a central portion of my uh, of my mm. data, research mm. paper mm. even if it is just 45 but it's it still the it still gives some you know um, a good perspective of you know of mm. what is actually uh, what, what you know uh, you know what are the different sort of uh, you know uh, areas that uh, that need to be covered in this paper mm. so uh, there will be uh, quite a few pages on that Mm -hmm. And um, of course, I have I have some background um, uh, research that I've that I've done, and then of okay. course, you know, driving towards some 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 kind of, kind of conclusion. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I good. still have to, uh, you know, put together this questionnaire. But I think Google Forms itself has um, has mm -hmm. got a good um, good uh, way of representing the, uh, yes. the responses. Yeah. So uh, in some mm -hmm. cases. Um, Particularly when it's a, it's a, it's a quantitative uh, response, mm. um, you know, you get you get graphs, you get uh, you know pie charts and stuff. Like right, that. right. So right. I can actually go and copy those and I can put that into into the research paper directly and you know provide some some mm. commentary on that. Okay. And um, okay. yeah, so um, it still um, mm. still has to be sort of put together. Okay. So there's there is work to be done, but I think I I'm, I'm sort of uh, comfortable with the, the the amount of inputs I've got here. Right, right. So, um, also, j just had a thought, uh, Chris. Like, uh, maybe gender and age, and also ethnic, uh, you know, uh, background. I wonder if capturing that. I, I know now it's you've already got these responses, but uh, but since you might know, maybe even age. Um, age. Uh, are you capturing the age range? I forget. Uh, yes, I, I'm you are. No. Yeah, yeah, maybe gender, gender and, and age. Um, mm. yeah. So yeah, so that will actually give further insight into you know. Yeah, it'll be interesting to observe that as well. Okay. Yeah, and I've also included. Uh, I've also included their married or not married in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Marital status also. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Okay. Right. Okay. Anyone else? Um, just want to talk about your work, um, Kennedy. How are things? Um, I'm sorry, I'm not able to hear. Are you saying something? Um, your mic is unmuted. Um, Hello, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. Morning, uh, election. Yeah. Sorry. Kindly, if you could uh, resend your comments on my questionnaire to my mail because I I have lost it in the mail. I have searched for it for forever. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it. So kindly, if you could send resend it to me in the mail. Sure, so I can do that. I can progress with the work. Okay, I, I'll do that. Yeah, Thank I think uh, my um, yeah my response to your question was um, um, was mainly about reframing the questions um, in a certain way. So that was the thing. Uh, uh, Alicia, just to clarify, were you do were you the one who were doing about the social media? 
Yes, yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. so yeah. So my my, uh, I mean, there there's there some there were some good questions actually, very insightful uh, questions. But I, uh, you know, my uh, thing was um, suggestion was just to reframe it, uh, change the language a bit, so that you can it can even it can even bring focus, you know, so that you can just come straight to the point. And there'll be no ambiguity in people's minds when they read the question. So that was it. Okay, so I'll send it um, to you. So I'll resend okay, that. Sir. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Fine. Um, anyone else? Um, say any thoughts from your side? Um, Yes, Pastor. Um, so just mine is purely research and I'm um, researching on uh, J Jesus in the Jewish festivals. So mm. currently right now, um, I'm just kind of tidying up and then I'm going to still go through everything. Mm. And uh, I'm on the last phase of my research. Um, it's, okay. been, it's been an interesting one because I've also learned a lot um, mm. In terms of the fact that I used to think all the festivals that are being celebrated by the Jewish people were all instituted by God. But in the course of the research, I've been able to separate what was instructed mm. by God and what was formed or initiated by men. And mm -hmm. been able to see the connection with the fulfillment in Jesus Christ and how all of them just connect to Jesus. So it's been a very good research for me. As a person. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. All right. Okay. Anyone else? Um, is Mangi online? Um, okay. Mangi was doing something on the church of the future. Then, uh, who else? Uh, Tarun, do you have any thoughts? Um, how's yours shaping up? Uh, yeah, in progress, uh, Pastor. Right. Yeah. Okay. I I was just thinking. I think I should uh, add some disclaimer that uh, my because I'm doing technologies in a few mm. years, if somebody reads it, it might get outdated. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> So uh, I have to start with the paragraph. I was uh, thinking that you know we don't read uh, the signs uh, of eighteen hundred or seventeen hundred, but we read the Bible still in our Sunday schools. <laughs> so right, right. <laughs> the signs moves mm -hmm. on. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the, uh, uh, since you are bringing the, um, uh, I mean the, uh, the the whole aspect of um, God's creation and signs, right? That. So I think that's the interesting um, aspect. So that I, I think that will be timeless anyway. Right. Um, yeah. So, uh, so is that also a continuous thing? Like what you're talking, what you're going to talk about uh, God's creation, nature, and uh, what we see that uh, actually, adapted I, in science. I actually was mm, uh, scoping only on technologies and. Uh, like modern technologies and the biblical mandates, how the biblical mm. laws can act, uh, help us uh, uh, use technology better. Uh, ah, okay. Mm. So I haven't uh, added the creation part because yeah, mm. that, there's a lot of content on that that would be another paper. So I just scoped it only to technologies. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Hmm. So how's it going as uh, to Rupa? Um the open home. Uh sir, good morning, sir. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Yes. Uh I could gather twenty one um, feedback, sir. Four more to go, waiting for that. But in the meanwhile I started writing introduction and uh, uh, collecting the in the feedback uh, whatever they have given processing them 
so that mm-hmm. i have not yet seriously started writing right right okay there is yeah. one more thing yes. we should present this uh, whatever we are collecting in the excel paper we have to submit it to you sir that excel paper along with the project project report right yeah yeah so yeah. um yeah so i'll 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 put the um, uh, instructions uh, on okay. uh, on the stream like how you need to submit it so that uh, you know, it it needs to be a pdf so that there can't be any changes to it so it has to be, so i'll put that as well uh, yeah. so i I'll, i'll yeah so i'll give those instructions uh, before our next class so you yeah. can get things ready yeah. um also i just i just had a thought looking at the number of people you know who have actually doing the course uh, i mean this is for everyone the entire class and not just for srupa so uh, looking at the number of uh, you know people who are doing the actual uh, course uh, i think we have about 25 who are listed and there could be more so uh, instead of normally we do the presentation you know uh, live in class so even if it's a you know 10 minute presentation 5 minutes doesn't do justice to the you know the work that you put in so even if it's a 10 minute thing it's going to take uh, you know given the number of sessions and the time to complete uh, we won't have enough time to go through so what i thought was that uh, i mean you can you can share your thoughts what i thought was it it would be good if individually you can uh, make videos of you know a 10 minute video of your presentation right um and then uh, upload it uh, and i'll leave the instructions where to do it similar to what the e learning um, you know e learning class would do so that i can go through the videos uh, not during the class of course only only the, uh, the, the thing is that um, everyone else doesn't get to see it but uh, we can i can make the you know the the link uh, that i can put it on the drive and make uh, share the link so that uh, each one can watch the presentation the others presentation so uh, so that was one thought you know uh, i had um, whereas in the class what we can do is uh, based on the presentation i might have a few questions maybe three questions max uh, for each of the students so you can actually answer those questions so based on the presentation and the paper i you know might have some questions so it can be like a like a viva you know uh, kind of a thing so where those questions i will ask in class and you can uh, respond to it uh, of course e learning students will it will just be the video and the uh, and the presentation paper uh, there won't be you know anything more beyond that uh, but for the online students um, in class we would have those questions um, so what do you think of that uh, i think this uh, it practically works out better any thoughts okay yeah, sounds good okay All right so um so i'll put out that schedule as well so so we have uh, we have typically we have four classes right 4th of april 11th of april 18th of april and 25th so these are four sessions for the online class um so we will we can have the uh, you will uh, submit your um submit yeah i'm just coming to that chris uh, about the video so you can submit the paper on the 10th and the video on the 17th okay so 10th of 10th which is the monday 10th of april which is a monday you submit the Uh, this is only for the online students so e learning students uh, you know this is not for you so 10th of april you submit the paper and the 17th of april which is the following monday you have a week in between to work on the video the presentation and then you submit that so 18th and 25th we will uh, we will take time to uh, you can you know answer those questions uh, on the uh, yeah on the presentation video right so regarding the presentation video also uh, how there are some specifications uh, like the uh, to shoot it in uh, as a as a horizontal 
you know uh, thing not as a portrait um, so I, i'll list that also okay. so let's let's do that i think that is that is what is workable uh because would have loved to hear it live from each and every person but um, you know given the time um, i don't think that's possible and the number of students of course this time it's more um so we can't finish it in two sessions or finish it in three sessions right okay um does that sound okay yeah so we'll yeah yes chris uh this is just a request but uh yep. you know with with, uh, with most of our submissions um you know of uh, uh other uh, um you know the exams or tests or you know, assessments rather yeah uh, but the other subjects um we are usually given um like an end of day um uh, you know a date uh sorry, sorry a time for submitting it yeah so i'm just wondering if it is if it is um uh you know it uh, sorry 10th and 18th could it be 10th and 18th uh, end of day as in uh, it's actually end of day means really 11:59 which they usually put so i'm just wondering whether that's possible because yeah. 9 a.m is sort of like in in between uh sort of you know it's just like uh uh mm. you know it doesn't give much time unless we're you know we're doing an all-nighter or something you know in case we need to do it at all yeah mm. uh yeah i mean the the, the reason was that over the weekend you can get to you know whatever finishing you can do and uh just put it before nine so that it doesn't affect your you know monday class so you can you know before nine you can submit it and uh, get on with the thing uh and i didn't want to put it as uh you know sunday night 11 59 so that was the only thing so i mean technically you can keep it as seven you know sunday night probably midnight or something is that okay um Does that sound okay, Chris? No, we can just then, then we'll just leave it for 9 a.m. Ma, Pastor. I think just uh, leave it for 9 a.m. on Monday. Mm, in case mm. there's anything that we want to, in case there's anything that we want in, to do. Yeah, uh, if you want to do it and, uh, you know, so we can do that. So, yeah. So, Abhishek, yeah. So, like, uh, I've been, uh, like, what we've been discussing, that, uh, yeah, a 10-minute video, right? you can make a 10 minute video about uh, the the project it's a presentation of the project so you'll have to time it well so you can finish it you know highlight only the main features of the work and finish it in uh, 10 minutes right so and uh, i will also put the instructions on where to upload and so on right so you can do that and also the specifications so yes uh, Abhishek, so 10, uh, sorry, 10th is your uh, submission of the report and 17th will be the submission of the uh, video, presentation video. Same time, so 9 a.m. 17th, present, submission of the presentation video. Okay. Fine. okay so any 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 other questions others um subhajit any questions um who are the others on the call um others feel free to um, any questions regarding your work yeah prabhakar go ahead please uh, uh, thank you pastor actually uh uh, nothing more just i had uh, uh, forward you, uh, mail you the pre uh, final draft of my irp so mm -hmm. i like want to have suggestions and analysis from you valuable feedback so that i can uh, put a final touch to it if it is any like last time you had told me so i had worked on it okay okay so if anything, i need to add to it pass it kindly guide me so that i can prepare it for the final touch sure. Yeah, sure. You can. Uh, have Have you already emailed me, or you want yeah, to email me? Yeah, yes, I emailed you. I, okay. This morning. Oh, okay. Email. Oh, right, right. Okay, I'll check. I'll check that. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, so yeah, yeah, Chris. Oh uh, yes, Pastor. I just wanted to find out um, if you can share with us uh, some of the uh, uh, you know evaluation criteria that you have that you would basically yeah, apply the... uh, on mm -hmm. our uh, research papers. Um, is there something mm -hmm. that you would want to share with us and just you know give us an idea? You know how you know what are we you know what are we, what are some of the objectives that we want to be able to achieve based on on the criteria that you would apply. Uh, for this research paper, so that uh, and also if you have some uh, you know sense of you know uh, the grading itself, you know I mean are you going to use something like an A B C something kind of thing, you know and mm. what would be your definition of A B and C and uh, you know mm. uh, so that you know we can get to we can sort of try to work towards that uh, that objective. Yeah. Okay. So you basically want a rubric of um, how how it's graded, right? Okay. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can just pull it out now. Um, um, just a minute. Um, Okay, I don't seem to have it here. Okay, uh, I will uh, look for it. I'm sure I kept it. Um, and I, I, okay, I'll share that along with the other instructions. I'll share that as well. Um, so. Okay, so um, so if there's nothing more, then we'll uh, we can close. Right? There's no other question, no other clarification. I guess we'll close. But I just want to say, I'm uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, like uh, looking forward to both the report, finalized report, and also the uh, you know the videos. Um, the same goes for the e-learning students as well. Um, I've been going through some of the initial drafts, and uh, uh, it's really exciting. Some of the su subjects, you know, some are very, very challenging um, subjects and titles that you have actually uh, taken up. So, really looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, all the very best for the last lap. Right. So, um, God bless all your efforts and. Uh, Looking forward to catching up again, right? Okay. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor.